ESPN Sports Science Lab, draft prospects will be graded based on data collected from our position-specific tests. Next up, Florida State quarterback EJ Manuel. To test how quickly Manuel can recognize a target and get off a pass, we equipped him with eye tracking technology and put him through our accuracy test. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Our data shows Manuel can lock onto a target in about a quarter of a second. And incredibly, his release time averages just one third of a second. That's the fastest release we've analyzed in the lab this year and faster than another top draft prospect, Geno Smith. And not only is Manuel quick, he's also accurate. From 15 yards, he hit the 24 inch diameter targets 90% of the time. From that distance, that's the best of the QBs we tested in the lab this year. That is amazing. But Manuel's accuracy is most impressive during our touch test. Go. With two defenders rushing, he has to feather a ball 20 yards into a three foot diameter target while backpedaling. To put the difficulty of this test in perspective, from that distance, if Manuel's throw is off target by less than two degrees right or left, the ball sails wide. And releasing the football at about a 31 degree angle, if his launch velocity varies by just half a mile per hour from ideal, he misses the target. But amazingly, Manuel nails his first nine in a row. On his way to breaking a record for this test set by sports science alum, Colin Kaepernick. Not bad, not bad. We've never had somebody go 90%. Yeah, there we go. So after a complete analysis of EJ Manuel, taking into account more than 20 different factors, he impressively scores in the 89th percentile in our metric, a higher score than NFL starter Andy Dalton. Now some question EJ Manuel's ability to throw downfield, but consider this, in passes traveling more than 10 yards through the air, his senior completion percentage was only about 2% lower than last year's number one pick, Andrew Luck. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Hey!